one. Hey everybody, Claude Diamond here with my friend Michael Buckles of Atlanta. Look at that smile. Only people who, well forget about the first one, only people who make money smile like that. There's another, there's another reason people smile, but we're not going to, it's not that kind of broadcast. And Michael, <laughs> you, may, you just made, tell us why you're smiling. I just closed a deal for um, this past for twenty five for twenty five hundred dollars that I made up profit wise. How much time did it take you to put into that deal? About two hours. Two hours. That's uh, twelve fifty. Let me use my fingers and toes here. Twelve fifty an hour. Right. It, don't you love that? Now the real purpose of this real short video is just to talk about how you found the deal. Finding deals is a common question I hear, deals in real estate. How do we find the properties from the motivated seller, uh, the motivated buyer, the investor? Mm -hmm. how, did you find, how did you find this deal, this motivated seller? Was it a motivated seller? It was a very motivated seller, and um, she was out of the, um, she was about 20 miles away from the property. So um, the way I found her, I didn't, use, I didn't use direct mail. I basically called her on, uh, on Zillow. Okay. So I basically used my own, I found it online. Wow. And so yes. what, go ahead. And I, gave her, and I gave her a call to see if she was interested in selling it, and I made an offer, and she sent my offer, and I sent her the contract, and I got it back on within 10 minutes later. Wow. So, you know, to me, so you saw it on Zillow. You called her up, right? Right, right. You, uh, you asked the guts questions up front with stroking and nurturing and empathy. Mm -hmm. You made a connection with this person. Did she see you as another uh, one of a cast of thousands of people just calling her up and saying, give me your property? I, you know, did you sound like an amateur? Did you sound like a used car guy? Or what? Did, did, or did you just sound like Michael? I sound like Michael. Um, I, basically was asking all the, I basically was asking the questions. What was the reason for her to sell? Why she needed to sell it? And uh, she she sounded very motivated that she really needed to get rid of the property. So uh, I made a, I made an offer, then she just went ahead and accepted it. Wow, that's great! And what kind of offer was it? What kind of deal was it? It was a wholesale deal. Um, okay. She was asking, um, I believe she was asking if I could remember seventeen seventeen thousand for the property. She gave it to me for seven thousand five hundred. Wow. And you turned it around. Did you call up other investors? Did you advertise? Did you put up signs? How did you move this property so quickly? I called up other investors. Um, I called a few that was particular like that area. And um, he went out and saw it. And then um, he sent me back a contract within an hour after he sent it. Wow. So the whole basis of your business is, is to be an arbitrager, a broker, if you will, um, right. not to represent other people, because that's against the law unless you have a real estate license, which you are getting by right. the way. And I think that yeah. that's something for another conversation. But you find deals as a principal, you quickly put them under a contract, and then you have the choice on some deals to either sublet them, to sandwich lease them, that's lease them with an option. Or mm -hmm. in your case, you just wanted to generate some cash and you sold this deal, this wholesale deal to another investor, and they can do the repairs, they can do the renting, they can be the bill collector, the landlord, the maintenance man. You're just the, you're just the facilitator as a principal, and I want people who are watching this to understand. And what's to stop you from doing this all the time? I, yeah, I mean, um, when I, at first I was I was kind of iffy about um, doing deals online because it's like it's out there to everybody. Anybody can pretty much get get their hands on it. But I took a chance to say, you know what? Let me go ahead and um, give it a try. This is great, Michael. Congratulations. And I know you have another video of the lady you did this deal with, and she loves you. She doesn't see you as someone who took advantage of her or overpowered her or anything like that. She just wanted to work. She just saw you as someone, as her doctor. Right. And the funny thing is, she had the deal on a contract with four other investors. And they didn't perform. Okay. And they was basically acting as an agent, you know. So um, when I gave her a call, I, she, she she got the vibe that I was very sympathetic with her situation, and um, she 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 liked me instantly when I was asking her questions. So so the, you yeah. you struck up a way to connect with her by stroking, right. nurturing, asking the right questions, letting her ask questions, and performing as a doctor would or a lawyer or some kind of trusted professional. You said, here's, an, here's a solution. Can we move forward today? Can I send you a contract today? You got the contract. You sold it. You made twenty five hundred. That twenty five hundred isn't in a. You know, you hear a lot of these gurus. Oh, you know, twenty five billion dollars or whatever they right. say. But you know what? 
everybody can always use an extra 2500 here. And, you know, you do enough of these little deals, as I always say, someday you're going to get another deal with a couple extra zeros on it. It's going to be 25000 or a quarter million. It's the consistency. Going out there and speaking to how many people a day? Five, five, five customers a day. And five that's all you have to do. Round of applause for you, Michael. Thanks for sharing this. Uh, moment on your la on your latest deal and stop smiling so much will you <laughs> uh, take, right. take care michael thank you bye